wants to put in something else in there. Yeah, it no. does. And, you know, screw that. Nah, man, Kevin got training wheels. TR. Woo. Yeah, it knows. Ready? All you gotta do boy. after this is update. Oh, Watch this. Bam! Woo! Oh, wait. Alright. No, we're yeah. Started here. Sheik? Oh, Sheik. Oh, well. Whatever. Go training wheels. Training wheels. Show that he had uh, traits. Yeah. But in training wheels last match versus Fo Shiz, he showed that he had impeccable spacing. Pretty much just kept Fo Shiz from really getting anything started. But when he did get something started, he kind of just converted it into a dash guard. Kind of like that, actually. In fact, I'd say playing against uh, Sheik and Peach as Marth, probably a similar game plan in a way. All about the spacing. Like I said, three, three spot dodges. Space him out. Watch out because you'll get edge guarded hard. Um, Sheik's got that heavy combo weight though, so he can get horizontal stuff. Yes. Easier. She is more hefty than Peach. Peach just has the dress weighing her down a little bit. Sheik has like needles, infinite needles. That's gotta weigh something. That's a lot of needles. Yeah, I mean, see, Peach does have toes though. But she's just carrying them around <laughs> under her skirt. Yeah, in the in the depths, who knows where. But uh, yeah, but Xanda's pulling it out. Oh yeah, so Xanda is keeping all that momentum. All right, Sean, I see you. Cursor. Yeah. Hey, I mean, if there's, I wouldn't mind upsets. Upsets are fun. Also, this one wouldn't affect the ladder, so I wouldn't have to do it again. <laughs> Uh, but not really a good enough reason, man. I mean, no, it's not. <laughs> but you know, also I don't like Sheik, so I have a lot of not very good reasons. Uh, I'll make up for one big opinion. Busted out to Adam really. So. Oh, that was nice. All right, Xanda taking that pretty commanding lead now. And again, Xanda's not just going to let him. Uh, just a couple of edge guards, man. Hey, I mean, this is a good That's start. That's how we started. Like that. Commentator's blessing. <laughs> oh. You know, I guess at low percent, you could pretty much just tech chase Sheik after that, can't you? I mean, That's it's not little. like you can't just do it. But, you know, situationally, that would have been a good one. But damn. That's game Santa one. With the and what you want to do is, yeah, up on that arrow. And then update. Yeah. All right. That's the stuff, dude. You got it. It's pretty simple. It is very simple. Real easy to use. I'm gonna see if I can keep this still so that we can at least have a mouse we can move whenever we want <laughs> instead of the paper moving with it. Damn. No right, switches Zanda. here. All right. I like the pastime stadium pick. In a way, I, I like it. I mean, Marth does have the, uh, the better mobility. He's gonna go for the chain grabs though. Pretty high. Okay. Oh no, getting stadiums? Not quite. Thank god. Alright, Xander spacing oh. his aerials because he knows how to do that real good. And won't just get shield grabbed willy dilly. Not a single hit. Jeez, man. Xander's gone off. Xander with the perfection. But I guess the idea behind training was picking the stage would be something like kind of outmaneuvering Sheik. Um, up tilt is still a good KO move for Marth. So. Being able to KO Sheik off the top is not bad. Uh, KOing her off the top is comparable to KOing like Cannon off the top. Yeah. Because of their similar fall speeds. And I mean, weight actually doesn't matter too much for KOing off the top. All about that fall speed, gravity. So, yeah. He's a pick. The train wheel is kind of, you know, he's not moving and grooving, really. He's just getting four stocks. Let's hope not. Yeah, but it's looking grim for our Marth hero. You only want the four stock when they're chanting for the four stock. Yeah. Nobody's chanting right now. No one's chanting, no one's chanting for the best player in the room. The four stock guy is pretty good. Does work. And training wheels is certainly pretty good. Yes, indeed. But it seems like when he kind of gets put into a corner, he stays there, so to speak, you know? He's not really making strides to stop Xander's momentum. Although that's difficult. But Xander gets that that's gonna be it. real, real convincing four stock. Goodness gracious. And that's gonna be the match. Hey, is, is this uh 
Is this uh, first to three? Best of five? Yeah. I don't. Well, Damn. I was wrong, stream. Does that mean that we're in quarters? Semis? Alright. We're, we're in semis. We're in semis, alright. Jeez. There we go. Scroll down there. That's the one. Update that. For all the people. They need to see. Alright, but hey. Stringwell's already off to a bit of a better start. Definitely. More, yeah. more percent than that whole last match. Almost. He'll be there soon enough. One hit away. There we go. Oh. There he is. Better than all of last match already. See, this, is, this was his stage. It's just like... He just kind of needed to... He was really stiff. Oh. Oh, but unfortunately, Barth is suffering from... Ooh, Hit the needle. <laughs> I actually really love hitting the needle. It's it's such satisfying sound. Ooh, Ooh. great air dodge. Just How do you know? Well, he kind of expected an option from training wheels. Like okay. he might have thought, oh, I jumped right next to the ledge. Training wheels is within F smash range. I better not get hit with this F smash. I'm gonna air dodge. The yeah. training wheels instead turned around and went to grab ledge, and it covered both up. Oh, I like the idea, but not quite that's, there. That's <laughs> why we chose the stage. Hey, yeah, it's the KO things off the top real good. Still can't quite close out this stuff. Oh, no. He was just not expecting the, uh, the vanish on stage. From on stage. To on stage. Well, that's the chic tech, man. Yeah, it's the uh, it's pretty unexpected. There finally does it at 200%. There we go. Good God. Training oh. wheels suffered a small case of arthritis there. She almost never really has to worry about that kind of thing, you know? Okay, going for the finish. And that attack. Forward air. You know that forward air of Sheik? It's called the hatchet. In the Prima Guy. Yes. I've never heard that one. Yeah. This is most people don't have the Prima Guy. I don't have the Prima Guy. I saw it on the internet. Someone just took pictures of their Prima Guy. And it's like, here you go, guys. Move list. Oh, oh, I see. I'm like, whoa, it's the hatchet? That makes That's sense. That's a really cool name for it. Neat name, dude. Yo, but Ganon has the sickest names. It's Ford Air. It's called the Skull Crusher. Oh. Wow. Yeah. He does crush skulls. He does crush skulls real good. And you know, I will say that Sheik's oh. just shy. He's trying to ledge dash on Xanda. Chaos yeah, himself. Yeah. You know, training wheel's not in a real bad place. He can pull this out. As long as he can kind of keep, uh, well, that from happening. But it happened. He still can, though. He's already doing way, way better <laughs> than the last game. Definitely, definitely. And it would probably behoove him to just get in a good position here on the rock stage. It really is about just kind of holding your board down. Like right they're, there. They're very active for a normal rock stage. Yeah, they're like, yeah, screw this. Let's go. Let's fight him. Yeah. It might do training wheels some good to calm down. I know Xander definitely meant to uh, do turnaround needles there. That's why training wheels are still alive, but not for long. It's going to be game. All right, All right, that does it. Game. Xander with three elements. All right, well, I'm real hungry, and it looks like... Man, man, cow, you want to get on the mic?